And after beating the coronavirus himself, the mayor of Miami becomes the first former patient in Florida to donate plasma. He tells us why he feels a moral responsibility to do so. He's going to join us coming up. After beating the coronavirus himself, the mayor of Miami has a lot that he's doing right now, and we're going to talk to him coming up after the break. You don't want to miss this. Grammy award-winning Pitbull teaming up with the mayor of Miami to debut a global anthem to inspire strength in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. The song, I believe that we will win, lighting up Miami's Stars and Stripes Tower to signal for all citizens to remain home at the start of the city's curfew, which starts at 10 p.m. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez joins us now to discuss their collaboration. Mr. Mayor, thank you for taking time. We want to talk a little bit about what you're doing now that you've recovered. But first, Pitbull, that's unbelievable. Why are you doing this? How did you team up with him? Pitbull is a, a dear friend and another good friend of mine, Enrique Santos, uh, from iHeartRadio, called me and said, hey, you know, uh, in New York, they're lighting up the Empire State Building to Alicia Keys' Empire State. And so he called me. I called another good friend of mine, Nitin Matuani, who, uh, who developed uh, the Paramount uh, World Center project. And we put everybody together. They had, they had been displaying the American flag. And so we decided to... Uh, set the American flag to Pitbull's brand new song, I Believe That We Will Win. Uh, I was a COVID-19, uh, obviously, uh, infected person, and I beat COVID-19. So we, saw, we sort of put this together very, very quickly. It was the first day that I had gotten out of quarantine, and it was also uh, happened to be a doctor's day. Uh, so it all just came together very beautifully uh, to, to sort of bring in our, our 10 p.m. curfew and, and give our residents something to rejoice about, something to be hopeful about, um, as obviously they were having to stay home at 10 and uh, Miami likes to party. So uh, it, it all sort of uh, it all sort of came together very nicely. Well, and it certainly uh, inspires and cheers people up. I, full disclosure, love Pitbull. But let me ask you, what has been the impact? Because, you know, we're seeing the mental health aspect of this all across the country. It's difficult just to force yourself to be home, to sort of adjust this new thing in your city, a curfew at 10 p.m., perhaps a difficult time at the end of the night. What's been the response to the residents? Imagine uh, our city is a city that loves to party, and uh, we had to cancel. Uh, you know, I was the first mayor to cancel a major music event in Ultra. Um, these are tough economic times, and we have to find ways to keep our spirits up. And so the the, the response has been amazing. Our residents have been very respectful of our curfew, um, mm -hmm. and you know, obviously having a, a champion like Pitbull. Armando Perez, uh, uh, you know, inaugurate the, the curfew with, I believe that we will win such a yeah. such an inspiring message that we're going to beat COVID-19, whether you're an individual that has it, whether you're someone that's anxious about getting it, or whether you're someone on the other side, like I am, um, yeah. that has an obligation to keep helping. Well, Mr. Mayor, you amazingly have become the first in Florida, I believe, to donate plasma. Explain. Just like I said, you know, I'm the, one of the. I was one of the first uh, COVID-19 positive patients in all of Miami-Dade County, a, a, a region of uh, three million people. We now have over 3,000 positive cases, but now that I that I tested double negative, uh, I realized that I had a responsibility, and I was reached out to by a company called One Blood, and I was also reached out to by a family. Uh, who had a father in critical condition in one of our local hospitals. And so it all sort of came together. I had the right blood type. And uh, I decided that, you know, the fight against COVID-19 doesn't end when you beat it inside your body. That, that just begins uh, the, the fight because you built up antibodies and you have plasma that you can share. And so I'm, I'm using it as a call to action. I'm trying to set the example that uh, once people are able to overcome COVID-19, we have a responsibility to help those who have had much more severe cases. One of the things we know about COVID-19 is that it has a tremendous variability. It affects different people differently, different age groups differently. I'm 42 years old, I'm healthy, but unfortunately the person that I'm helping is close to 70 years old and is, is on a respirator now. So my hope and prayer is that he's able to come out of it uh, well and that others will follow my lead and, uh, and do likewise. You're setting the record just quickly. Tell us, Mr. Mayor, how important is it not only to hear Pitbull and be motivated to take action, but to walk it through to do the sacrifices and maybe even give blood? 
it's incredibly important. There are so many people that are infected right now. And every single day, ever since I did uh, the plasma donation, I can tell you the flood of calls that I'm receiving from all parts of Florida is incredible. Mm -hmm. I was the first person in Florida to do it. One of the first wow. in the United States. And we have to increase testing also of people who are COVID positive so that we know that they're eligible to give blood. Mayor Francis Suarez, our hats off to you. Glad you're doing well and that the Thank residents you. of Miami are enjoying Pitbull every night at 10. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much.